Hello again, this is Paul Abrahams from Learn Jazz Piano Online and in part one of Learning Jazz Piano My Way I was telling you about my school education, the music I was listening to and particularly in the 60s and early 70s rather than listening to the white pop music I was much more interested in the black American artists like Ray Charles, Fats Domino, um, James Brown and gospel music and I want to start here by telling you about the music that I went to see live during this period. Being in London we were very lucky to be able to have access to some great clubs where bands were playing live almost every day and because I was already playing organ I was particularly interested in the bands that had organists or piano players playing R&B and soul. Here are some examples. The Spencer Davis group featured a very young Steve Winwood on organ. There was the Zoot Money roll band but particularly I enjoyed the Graham Bond organisation. You've probably never even heard of Graham Bond but his drummer was Ginger Baker, his bass player was Jack Bruce and John McLaughlin also joined the band later on. Because I was playing keyboards I now had to own more than just an organ. As I said I started on a Vox Continental organ and moved to a Hammond M3 but gradually I had to get hold of a Fender Rhodes, a Selena string machine, a synthesizer, an ARP Odyssey which was a small monophonic synthesizer and then I got a bigger monophonic synthesizer which was the Korg PS3200. Of course these days all I use now is a computer and it has all these samples but nothing really replaces the real instruments. My parents were market workers and the last thing they wanted their son to be was a professional musician that was equivalent to being a drug addict. So by day I was doing some very inappropriate jobs like being in an accountant's office where I got fired because I can't add up and at night I was semi-professional in various bands. And so finally my father changed his mind and said become a musician because that is your main talent and I put an advert in the Melody Maker and went off to join a band you've never heard of in Cambridge. We went to Hamburg, played in the Star Club for a month, went on to Frankfurt and then I joined another band you've never heard of in Bournemouth. One thing I do remember at the Star Club is the band The Vanilla Fudge arriving and doing three nights and I was so impressed I went into the dressing room and said to the keyboard player you've gone beyond music well he took that to mean that I was insulting him and I was thrown out of the dressing room anyway the Vanilla Fudge and their music had a huge impression on me so after a year of travelling up and down the UK in the back of Bedford and Transit vans, the manager of a pop star called Joe Brown also managed the band that I was earning no money with in Bournemouth and suggested that three of us came to London, got our haircuts and joined Joe Brown's backing band. So off we went to London abandoning our singer in Bournemouth and I started my new life in the world of cabaret. I'll continue this story very soon but in the meantime if you'd like to subscribe to my website I'm www.learnjazzpianoonline.com